If you've completed the green cross, the next step is going to be to solve the green corners. Now in this case, none of the corners are already done, so we're going to start by locating the appropriate corner for each side. So if I look down here on the bottom, I see that this is the green corner, this is a green corner with a yellow and an orange side. So that corner is going to go right here because this is the orange side and this is the yellow side. So what you need to do is to line up this green square underneath the corner where it's going to go because eventually it's going to go right here. This yellow and orange piece is already in the right place so we don't even have to move it. So the move to position a corner from the bottom up into the top is as follows. You turn the side down, then you turn the bottom, then you put the side back up, and then you turn the bottom back. That's it. Four easy steps. Now you'll notice that the corner is in the correct spot, but the colors are not oriented correctly. So you simply do the move again. Down, bottom, back up, do the bottom again. Still not done, still not in the right spot. Sometimes it can take as much as four different attempts to get the piece in the correct spot. That was the third one. We're going to do one more. Down, bottom, right, up, down, bottom, right. And now, after several attempts, this piece is in the correct spot. So we've solved one of the corners. Now we need to find the next corner. Here's another green corner down on the bottom. This is the red and white corner. We're going to position that in the correct spot. Here's the red side, here's the white side, and here's our corner. We're going to put that green section in the bottom of the corner that matches the white and the red sides. And then we're going to do the same move again. Down, bottom, up, bottom. And that's one. Down, bottom, up, bottom. Down, bottom, up, bottom. And remember, you may be doing the move several times, so you're going to want to pay attention to when the corner is properly in oriented. So go ahead and make sure you stop. This move is very important and it will come into play later. So if you can practice this move and master it, it will make your life much easier later on. So now we have two corners that are both the right color and the right orientation. So let's find another corner. Here's the green, yellow, and red corner. So if I find the, here's the green, red, and yellow side, so we need to put this green spot, or this green piece, underneath where it's going to go, which is right there. Once the piece is properly oriented, it's the same move. Down, bottom, up, bottom. In that case, it only took one iteration of that move, so it was pretty easy. Last corner. This is the green, orange, and white corner. We're going to position that green spot underneath the corner that it needs to go in. Now we're going to do down, bottom, up, bottom. Now you'll notice not only do you have the green side completely solved, but you'll notice that the sides of each color should all line up and match up. If you've done that, then you've successfully completed step number two.